Hackney is like a tiny area of London and like that's not an entire accent of everyone in England. Half of England speaks like the Queen and the other half speaks Cockney. Yeah. Like that's not how it works. <laughs> I'm Chloe. I am originally from Ely, Cambridgeshire, but no one knows where that is, and I also live in America now. And I'm Sam. I'm from Somerset in England, but I live in London now. And we're here to talk about travelling in England and the etiquette. Number one, striking up a conversation on the tube. In terms of public transport, I definitely think it is not okay to strike up a conversation on the tube or the train. Oh God, yeah, that would be so mm. embarrassing. Yeah. I've seen it happen, but I hate when it happens to me and I think a lot of British people do feel like you're on the transport, you're on the tube, you're on the train, just, you know, have little inner thoughts. Don't speak them, don't say anything. Just get on with life, get off. Number two, not taking turns in buying rounds. If you go out with a few people in England, be expected to buy an entire round of drinks for the table, and then you just have to hope that they drink enough drinks that you get your money back, because yeah. it goes around the table. Whereas here, you just buy your own drink, or like buy one person a drink. That's actually quite rude. I feel like if you went to a pub with like three or four friends, and you didn't offer to buy them a drink, mm -hmm. they'd be like, hmm, what's up? What did I do to <laughs> offend you? Whereas, yeah. yeah, in the UK, you're like, I'll get the rounds in, get the first round, because then people are less drunk at the start, so they remember to get you drinks. Ah. Yeah. That no, makes I'd say sense. by the last round, because by then everyone's gone home. <laughs> yeah, I, I think actually, have a go. See, see nice. how, yeah. I don't actually think there's any rules there, but definitely get the rounds in. Yeah, I think that's just like a sign of like respect that you actually like want to hang out with these people, so you buy them around. But if you're a lightweight and someone is a really heavy boozer and there's like five people, you're gonna to have to drink five drinks. That's yeah, scary. you do kind of sign on for like yeah, for like a giant night. <laughs> yeah, you do actually. That's very true. But Brits like that, so that's fine. Yeah, Brits yeah. drink. That's Brits another thing. Brits drink. So do not be like, do not be shocked if you see a lot of drunk, rowdy people at the end of the night. Oh yeah. Maybe puking in the street. <laughs> yeah, definitely puking in the street. Number three, standing on the wrong side of the escalator. Another thing about, well, I guess like the tube and any escalator, stand on the right if you don't want to mm. walk, if you just want to yes. stay there. Because if you stand on the left, people who want to walk down or up, they can't get past you. So always stay on the right. Yeah, that yeah. is such a big thing. I see so many tourists in London do not understand the system that is to stand on the right and then you walk up the left. Yeah. And everyone does that except the occasional tourist who just stands there. And I always go, excuse me. Also a fun thing that British people do, which I don't know if, if they do it here, you say sorry, but actually it's more like a, you should be sorry. Oh yeah, if they do something to yeah. you, you're like, oh sorry, but you're like, you yeah. better bloody say sorry. Yeah, and you'll be like, <laughs> they'll be in the way and you'll move out the way, you'll go, sorry. That's a classic <laughs> British thing. That's true, it's like a passive aggressive. It's so thing. passive aggressive. We're not very direct, so we have to just like get our feelings out in other ways. No, not direct, totally pass ag. Number four, dawdling along the sidewalk. In terms of walking down the street, there's no real rules of where you have to stand, like on the tube. I would just say, don't dawdle, which is a, a Britishism. Dawdling is when you walk oh. too slow with no purpose. Yeah, that's a dawdle. That basically means don't like waste our time. Don't, don't. Let's get around you. Yeah. Don't just stand there and then tip to the side and tip to the left and then look at your phone. Like, we don't want that. Don't dawdle. Purposeful walking is important. Mm, especially in London. Oh yeah. So annoyed and people are just like, Ugh. but they take up the whole pavement and mm. you're like, no, just move to one side so that we can get through. Number five, placing napkins on the plate when you're done with your meal. When we finish our meals, a signal that we're done is that we put our knife and fork together in the center of the plate. So it's at like a six o'clock kind of yeah. vibe. Cause it's neat. It's just like, like it's tidy. It's just like a way of like- Yeah, you're really kind of done. helping them out. Yeah. You're like putting the whole, you know, all the components together mm -hmm. to be like- Yeah. Oh. When I used to work as a waitress and like I'd have a lot of American tourists come in and they were just like, put their napkin, like their cloth napkin, just on their plate and like the knife and fork like dirty everywhere. And I'm like, now we have to wash that napkin more than we were going to, yeah. like, cause it's gross. And you've just made a mess. So thank you so much. Yeah, yeah but it's what we do. Number six, leaving a tip at a restaurant. Tipping 
in the UK is it's not a cultural thing that we do because we have something called service charge, which just a kind of amount of money on top that you know, at the end of the meal, everyone would just go, what's the service charge? And then you just split it. We usually just, I mean, this is my experience, maybe I'm a bit cheap, but <laughs> I tend to just pay the service charge. Number seven, expecting quick service at a restaurant. I've been living in America for a while now and I forget how bad, how slow the service is in England till I go back for Christmas every year. Mm. And my mum just sits there like patiently like waiting for a meal for like 45 minutes. And me and my sister who also lives here is just like, oh my God, where the hell is it? Why is it so bad? I could have eaten three times by now and no one seems to care but us. What's the average wait time here? Like 10 minutes. 10 like, minutes? Like literally you can get a meal in like 10 minutes here. Even at a nice restaurant, like the appetizer for sure would come out within 10 minutes. I feel like half an hour in the UK, I'm like, it's pretty good. Oh, I can't anymore. I've like become so impatient by living here. Ugh. And it's like <laughs> something simple, like a little sandwich. I'm like, you can't cut bread. Yeah. Like, just put the filling, give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the more simple it is, the longer you have to wait. <laughs> so yeah, if you visit England, don't expect to have really quick food service, because mm. that's something that uh, I think we lack. Yeah, yeah. Plan your activities around a nice half an hour wait at a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Number eight, sending your order back for something else. I think another thing about etiquette in England would be if you are used to like being able to send a drink back just because you don't like it, you cannot do that in England. Like mm. they'll make you cocktails in America and if you just don't fancy the taste of it, you're like, mm, I want another one and they're like so okay with it. Oh Whereas in England, it has to be something actually very wrong with the drink. Yeah. Like there is a bug in it or something for them to be like, okay, we'll make, remake it for you. Yeah. Like it's not like, oh, your little taste buds don't like it. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's amazing. I didn't know you could do that here. That's you great. Because if a, if a bartender like suggests a drink to you, you shouldn't have to just be like, mm, it's delicious. Oh yeah, but in Britain you'll just be like, it was lovely, yeah. I loved it. It's not <laughs> true. And also sometimes you don't like something and you just get on with it. <laughs> You're like, I didn't order my egg this way. Mm, oh well. I'll just eat it. <laughs> yeah, it's easier to just eat it. Plus, if you send it back, it will be another 45 minutes till it comes out again. Yes, <laughs> that's so true. Number nine, avoiding British foods. One stereotype that I hear all the time is that British food isn't good. And I think that's so untrue. I mean, yes, there are places you can go that are not good, just like anywhere. Yeah. And if you just walk into a random pub, you probably won't get a good meal. But there are like so many really good places to go. Um, fish, fish and chips. chips. You've got to have, <laughs> yep, there you go, see? <laughs> fish and chips, fish and chips are good. They're so good. Yeah. So you cannot replicate it in America. Have you tried to, no, no don't. Like, I'd, I'd like to. I'd like to see what, just... what's going on. I feel like you can't get that in, like, fish and chips. I, do, I never really had that in central London and really enjoyed it. Oh, interesting. I feel like it's a bit more of a regional delicacy mm. or definitely the seaside. Yes, or the seaside, definitely. The beach. Do you say seaside here? <laughs> you have to go to the beach to get good fish and chips. Number 10, imitating British accents. So I've been in America so long now that I have gotten used to people imitating my accent and I don't get offended anymore. But I can imagine if you live in England and some American comes along and is like, oh my God, what are you doing? Yeah. Or whatever, which we don't even say how you're doing, so never mind about that. I can't even do an impression of someone <laughs> doing an impression. Um, but yeah, I think that's probably yeah. annoying. What do you think? I've, I've had that here and it's always like the Mary Poppins Cockney accent. Yes. Um, uh, which is just like, I, I don't even know anyone who's. Who That's not a like real that. accent. That's why. Yeah. Because, like, Cockney is like a tiny area of London and like that's not an entire accent of everyone in England. Like it's not like half of England speaks like the Queen and the other half speaks Cockney. Like that's <laughs> not how it works. There's yeah. like so many regional accents in England. So many regional accents. And also in Mary Poppins, the dude who was Cockney was American. Oh, yeah, that was Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. Like, like such an American man. And that was a horrible British accent too that yeah. he did. I think, would I be offended if an American did? I wouldn't, I wouldn't be offended at all, but what I kind of get is they'll go, oh, I do a really good British accent. Yeah. And then you're like, oh yeah, 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 let's hear it. And then they say, they, it's terrible. Yeah. And then you have to go, mm, that's really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God, that's, yeah, that's awkward. Uh, and it's just nothing. I've, ne I've, I've never heard one where I've been like, that's actually pretty good. I've heard a couple because I've had so many people do it right. living here. But yeah. yeah, I don't think some random American tourist is going to be like Oscar worthy yeah. accent person. No. 
I love the UK. I couldn't really see myself living ever, anywhere else. I do love it. It's super steeped in history. There's so much there to explore. There's so many old towns. There's some beautiful countryside. There's good food. So have fun and report yeah. back to us on what you find. And enjoy old England. Enjoy old England. Yes. Here we go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>